All right, we're now live. I'm Ron Graham. Sitting across the table from me in the baseball hat is sport is pro wrestling photographer to the stars Wayne Palmer, and the subject matter today is photography at pro wrestling shows. Uh, how you doing, Wayne? You all right? I'm all fine, Ron. How you doing? Uh, well, you know what? I'm I'm just terrific. I just want to make sure I understand. Um, Periscope properly, and once we get that going, then maybe we'll get some things up that uh, you will get you some new fans. So let me let me start off with this question, Wayne. What is the one thing a wrestling show really needs to have for the sake of the photographer? What do you need most? What I need most sometimes is knowing what the wrestlers are going to do. Because there are special spots which happen. Sometimes I'm out of position, and a lot of times you miss a great shot. You know, I've noticed that sometimes when we go to shows together, the wrestlers, the action is getting a little bit close to you, and you all of a sudden have to motor out of the way to keep one of those guys from falling on you. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Yes, you have to be as fast as a jackrabbit sometimes. I use the viewfinder of the camera, and I'm looking at the action at all times. Uh, I'm not even checking my pictures out until after the match is over. As long as they're in focus, that's all I care about. But you're correct. You, you know, you have to be, I've had people come and hit me and fly into me, and you have to be aware at all times. If you take your eyes off it, that's the worst could happen is you can clouded. It's not fun. No, I imagine probably not. Have you ever actually been knocked down? Yes. I oh. stuck my camera in the ring one time and wasn't watching <coughs> the ropes. And one of the fellows by the name of Facade came off the ropes, hit my camera, and bounced off my glasses, and cut the bridge of my nose. Oh my gosh. Well, we all know Facade is a, a high flyer. He's he He can be all over the place. He sometimes spends more time in the air than on the ground. Well, that's true. Is, do you think it's possible he just didn't see the camera or anything else? Uh, well, he, I can't blame him because you can't stop when you're running that quick. Now you're, when you're bouncing off the ropes, because I had the camera protruding into the ring about two feet, so I was actually in, almost inside the ring. But I wasn't, uh, I should have pulled. Now when that happens, I automatically uh, turn to the side and pull the camera away. So I don't hurt the wrestler also. That's good. You want to stay out of the wrestler's way. Do you ever get, um, like, instructions from the referee or from the promoter about where you should be? Yes, I do. Uh, but it's very rough. A lot of times the referee... There's uh, sometimes the ring help will say, stay out of the way, they're going to be coming this way. Or if there's a special shot where somebody's jumping off a balcony or something. But that doesn't happen all the time. Okay. Um, this is just a test for us today, Wayne. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the broadcast here. But I can tell it's going to be very interesting. And I'd like to pick it up later. Are you okay with that? Yes, I am. All right. This has been... Wayne Palmer talking photography of pro wrestling, and I'm Ron Graham, and we're signing off. Thank you. How do I stop? I'll stop it here.